Online forums are full of questions and advice about buying and selling used cars here in Dubai. Sellers often want to get back as much of the car's value as possible. Many buyers want to make sure that the car they are buying is accident free. With us in the studio, we have Sagan Yelchin, who is CEO of sellanycar.com. Sagan, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now, would you say that selling a car online then is the best way to sell a car? We believe it's the most transparent and most efficient way. However, we also see that selling cars, especially used cars in the region, comes with a broken experience. So that's why we believe we had an opportunity with sellanycar.com, which buys any car within 30 minutes. What should the top things a car buyer should watch out for when they, when they are selling their vehicle? I believe the most important thing is that they should know about the history, especially if they buy a used car from a, a private person. You should know what actually the car's condition is. So I would recommend to go to any professional car dealer who, who gives a car inspection. And from there on, you can decide if it's a good deal or not. You know, we hear a lot about resale value. And, you know, obviously, um, we, we are looking out for getting the best money for the car that we're selling on. But what should we be looking out for when we are selling a car? And also particularly a car that's a little bit old, maybe even over 10 years old. I mean, every car is a depreciating asset mm. and it comes with a certain percentage of uh, a depreciation, which we see between 20 to 25 percent per year, depending on certain makes and models. So we should be aware of this depreciation before we should decide on, on buying a car. That is uh, very important. It also shows that there's a certain kind of plateau in terms of prices. So we see the first two years are the, the biggest loss years and after a certain uh, period of time we see less of a depreciation but still there is a depreciation which comes with it. Now obviously a lot of people have to take out car finance, they'll take a loan out from the bank, um, some will even borrow on their credit card so they can make ends meet to get their, the car of their dreams. Is that the best way to go about it, to finance a car? This is more of a personal financial situation question but I wouldn't recommend uh, buying cars on credit cards especially if it's not a short-term investment, I mean, if you can pay it off within a month, then it's fine. But uh, the bank loan will be the only and most reasonable way to finance cars. But be aware of the fact that cars are depreciating assets. So um, I, would, I would actually recommend paying a significant deposit before uh, going into an investment like this. How long should we ideally keep a car for then? Personally, I would, I would believe you should keep it as long as you like the car and you're ready to buy a new car. As long as you keep in mind that the car's value will depreciate over time and every year there, there's going to be new models coming out. So uh, whenever you're ready and the finance situation allows this. As I said, if the car is already old and you bought it at a certain plateau of prices where the depreciation in absolute terms is not going to be that high anymore, uh, I believe that's the smartest way to buy cars. Fantastic. Well, we've run out of time, unfortunately, but Sagan Yelchin, many thanks. Thank you very much.